Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. I am Nintendo Capri Sun, and we're gonna save Sky in this episode. But first, we gotta talk to <gasps> Pokey. Ah, so this must be the chubby kid, the overweight fellow that they were talking about. Huh. It's so crazy. He says later potato here. Like, yeah, look who's talking. Level 16. Nice. Good gains on this one. Sweet. Maximum HP. And that rocks. Maximum PP. Went up by rather large amounts there. There's no way you can catch up to him there, so... Oh well. But it'd be cool if you could. And kick his ass. Anyway, we're gonna head back now. As we gotta do something about these happy, happy people. There ain't there's something ain't right about this place. And I'm not sure what it is. So this here is the drugstore. I didn't come here earlier. I should have, because there's actually some, like another weapon you can get here. I think there's got to be something here. We'll check it out. I suppose I said earlier that Threed was the next town. It kind of sort of isn't because there's this place, but I don't know if you'd really call this a town. I mean, it's just it's a village. It's not a town. Yes, Sandlot Bat. We will be picking that up. Oh my god, this inventory issue is becoming so huge. Yes, I'll sell the cookie. I mean, I was just going to sell something back to you anyway once I sold the, or got the Sandlot Bat. 38 to 45. Yes. Oh, then what else we got here? Copper bracelet, Holmes hat. I think the Holmes hat is just in case you missed the hard hat, but the hard hat is more powerful, so... Oh, we'll just be skipping on that. Once we get Sky back here, we can, uh... You know, get some equipment for her. There's a place ahead that can't be painted blue. It's a strange and anti-blue place. I can't stop thinking about it, and I can't even go near that place. Hmm. Oh, well, more, we'll be seeing more on that later. Probably in the next video, actually. See if I can get down to this house without fighting this. Well, fine. Oh, well, I guess I'm just gonna fight him then. Whatever. I'm blue and I'm a deep and I'm by the bubble. Ugh, I've had that stupid song stuck in my head ever since I made that video, man. Yeah, move out of my way. You can tell which ones will move by the way they walk, so the ones that'll move actually walk faster. Like their animation is faster. But it's still pretty hard to tell. And then this guy. No, not you. Um, uh, maybe it's... Wait, I think I see him. Well, okay, never mind. <laughs> They're over here on the right. Yeah, these guys. Okay. Green, green. Uh-oh. You got a, um... What is that, a heretic or something? I'm not sure <laughs> what they call those. You got a traitor. Blue, blue. Trying to learn how to whistle. <laughs> okay, yeah, you practice over there. That'll be just fine. Don't go to heaven, he says. Yeah. Alright. Level 17. Yeah, you'd be surprised. I mean, the experience that you gain for fighting monsters, it goes up really fast as you go from one area to the next. Because I always find myself wanting to grind in a certain place, and then I think, well, if I just went to the next area, you'd get it done twice as fast. The only difference being you couldn't automatically win against them, but... Isn't that the statue that was being dug up by that guy? Hmm... Hell no! Oh, uh, no. No, I'm not gonna be your left hand either. I mean, just because your left hand is your favorite lover doesn't mean I wanna be it. Ha ha. Now, if you don't have the Franklin badge, it's pretty much an instant kill. And trying to fight this guy without the Franklin badge would just be ridiculous anyway. He pretty much one-shot you with his crashing boom-bang attack. 
I think. I mean, I'm not, you might be able to take two hits of it, I don't know. Watch when you see, like, when it reflects back on him, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Here we go. Uh-huh. Like I said. <laughs> yeah, the Thunder Spell actually hits several times. That's why it, like, went once and then it went again. And as you gain levels on it, you'll get more hits for each one, and they're more powerful. So, 1412 experience. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Hmm. You know, it's funny, because when I saw that statue in that cave, what was it that that guy said? He said something like, you might get greedy thoughts. And it was sort of a... I don't know. It's kind of a... I don't know, it almost like seems to be that that statue brings out the worst in people or something. Yeah, I gotta talk to this guy again, because we had an inventory overload again. We will solve this problem very quickly when once we get Sky in the party, because she gets her whole own inventory screen, so basically, you've just doubled your space. And what I like to do is just give the Franklin badge back to her, so that she can be protected from thunder attacks, because she needs it more than I do. Especially at this point in the game, when she first joins your party, she's going to be extremely weak, so you're going to want to grind with her a little bit. And I'm probably going to off-screen that, because it might take a while. I want to get her up to at least level 8, maybe level 10. What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. Tim, let's be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Uh, okay? You just walk away. Ha! I lied. See you, sucker. Well, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, it was a little strange. It wasn't entirely terrible, though, I guess. We might have been listening to evil messages rather than good. Maybe. Oh, hi-ho! Oh, that's strange. Look at that text. What is up with that? More foreshadowing, I guess. And I totally forgot about that. Man, there's so much stuff in this game. My wife has run away for a second time. I'm such a lucky man! <laughs> okay, that's two allusions to wives on here. Where's the wives complaining about their husbands? Hmm. Let's see what a saxophone dude says. It's hard on the eyes to have everything blue. I don't know, that wouldn't be so bad. Pokey stole all the food. Well, dude, you better go get it back. If you can. Many footprints. I think we talked to her already. That's the next Your Sanctuary location, actually, that she's talking about, but... I don't know, I don't guess that's too much of a spoiler, really. Because it doesn't really matter what the place is, it's just getting there is half the battle. Here we go, let's fight the Scarecrows again. Haha. <laughs> I'm back! And look what I have. Yes! Thank you, Tim. You are just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. I'm able to use a little psychic power that is actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. <laughs> She's so cool. She's like, oh, it's actually pretty deadly. She says it so nonchalantly, like, oh well. I got some killer psychic powers. Let's go. Okay. Now, first things first, we're going to get her equipped with some stuff, because... Oh, how am I supposed to get equipped when the guy's taking pictures of me, man? Screw the media. Real-life TV, huh, Jack? Wave of the future. All right. Yeah, 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 fondest of memories. Who cares about memories when you're 12 years old, really? <laughs> Hell, I was 15 before I started getting obsessed with my memories. Huh. Oh, yeah. You know, if you actually bought this game when it first came out, um, it came with the guide, as well as... Nah, she's got nothing. Okay. Um, as well as, like, some scratch and, stiff, scratch and sniff stickers. Yeah, fry pan. Here we go. Yes. 2 to 12. It's like a six-fold increase there. You get her the ribbon, this one's gonna be really helpful. Two to twenty-two. 
See there? And finally, the copper bracelet. We will give that to her, and she will equip it. 22 to 32. Okay. So that takes care of that. Now I got some grinding to do off screen to get her more or less in shape for what's to come. So, till next time, this is Nintendo Capri Sun, and I will see you later.